Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of Confessions of a Paper Addict's Cut Files, uh, 20 Days of Cut Files. And today I am using an awesome cut file of a turtle. And you're going to see a little bit about how I um, back the cut file. I don't show you the in the entire backing of it because it's very time consuming um, if you've got a lot of detail. Um, and it's not really exciting viewing. You're going to see a little bit of it, of it, but not all of it. So what I'm doing here is I took these two pieces of grid paper and I am just inking them up with some greens. I'm trying to actually get a little bit more of a brown effect to it, like an olivey green. And so I've added a couple colors here, but I'm, I'm going to just play around with it for a little bit until I get the color that I want. I actually want the color of a sea turtle which um, there's a photo of in the, all the way in the right-hand corner there. You can see a sea turtle in the water. I don't know how easy it is to see on your screen, depending on what size of screen you're viewing on. Um, if you're watching on your mobile device, you may not be able to see that. But uh, I kind of play around with adding a couple of different colors. So I add a little bit of the antique... Um, antique linen <laughs> and then I realized that's kind of just giving me a tannish color I do want it a little bit more brown and so I went to my regular inks um, for well first I'm adding some darker color of ink and this is I believe that's rustic wilderness I will put the names of the inks down below for you so that it's easy for you to know what um, which ones I am using and I end up going to the regular distress ink to find a color that is a little bit more of what I'm looking for. So I started out with the oxides and then I believe I'm going to go to the uh, regular distress ink and I think I'm going to use forest moss. And so it's a little bit of a more olivey green and that makes me a lot happier because the others were just a little bit too bright. Um, I feel like that's more of like a cartoony cartoony turtle green versus a realistic turtle green and while the cut file that I'm using doesn't it's not completely realistic it's more realistic than cartoony so <laughs> we're just gonna go with that so in order to back the cut file I flip the cut file over to the back or the paper over to the back and the cut file to the back and then I trace the inside or the outside. You could trace either one. Um, in this case I believe I traced the inside and I'm cutting it just a little bit larger than the pencil lines that I've left on the paper. Now of course if you trace on the outside of the cut file then you need to cut it just a little bit smaller. And that is really all there is to it. It is not a com complex process um, but it does take some time and then it does get a little bit more difficult w when you add paper to it because um, then you really have to trace the inside. It's harder to trace the outside the more paper you get added to it because there is paper in the way in the neighboring holes of the cut file, if you will, if you follow that. <laughs> Hopefully that was understandable. So now I've got the head and two of the flippers done. Um, I'm going to do one more body piece here for you. And uh, again, I'm just tracing inside, cutting just a little bit larger. Now, if you wanted to span more than one little area, you can certainly do that. Um, you can span as many as you want. It's totally up to you. I did span some of them as they got smaller and smaller, but uh, the larger ones I went ahead and just did um, individually because I had strips of paper that I colored. I didn't color a big piece, so I couldn't go all the way across the body. And that was basically because I pulled those strips out of my scrap bin and those were just some basic gray scraps that I had left over. Now I did go to my bin of things from Hawaii or from my Hawaii album and I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of paper and I'm going to stamp on it because today's uh, topic or theme was circles. So I decided I'm going to stamp some bubbles that would be what the uh, turtle exhales. So I just started with a large one and then I got, went gradually smaller and um, maybe it should have been the other way around. I'm not 100% sure but I felt like the bubbles break up more as they get to the surface than 
uh, when you start. So when you exhale a long exhale underwater, you would have a larger bubble maybe, and then they would get smaller as you went towards, um, as they as they went towards the surface of the water. So that was my thinking. I don't know if it's right or not, but at any rate, it made for good um, good circles on my layout. So the stamps that I am using, uh, the biggest stamp or the biggest circle there is from Ink Road, and it's a set of stamps that is all different kinds of circles. And it doesn't have a name on it. It does have a product number, INKR80, no, 009. Um, and then I am using um, those little tiny bubbles are from Studio Light, and they are from Art by Marlene. And it is, hmm, it says Stamp BM47. Interesting. So, <laughs> and then I am going to end up using one from another Studio Light set, and that one is called Essentials by Marlene. I guess the other one's called Craftiness is Happiness. So I will put uh, I will put those down in the description box for you. And I am using pumice stone in oxide ink. I find the oxide ink works better on the acrylic stamps or photopolymer stamps than the regular distress ink. And it gives me the look that I'm looking for. I, I don't want them really dark like using black ink. I wanted them a little bit more subtle. And so I really like the way that it came out. And I really wasn't sure if that paper was actually sky paper or water paper, but it works um, at any rate. And it is, I believe, some Heidi Swap paper, if I'm if I'm thinking correctly. And then I decided to go ahead and make my embellishment areas, but they're going to just come in from the edge of the paper, which is a little bit different than what I normally do. And so I thought that was a little bit fun, and um, just to change things up a bit. So those are going to be my three little embellishment areas creating a visual triangle around the entire layout and it, I'm keeping this one really simple you guys so while I go ahead and create those I just wanted to let you know that this is a hop that we are doing for the first 20 days of December and there are a list of people down below that are playing along the hop is sponsored by Confessions of a Paper Addict and the link to their Etsy shop is also down in my description box so that you can go over and check out all of the cut files that she has she has nearly a thousand cut files, I do believe, and uh, they are all 25% off right now uh, with the exception of a bundle or if you need a commercial license. So if you're just looking for uh, single cut files, go and check that out because you can get a great discount. And she's got stuff for pretty much every occasion, I would imagine. Um, it took me quite a while to go through and choose the cut files that I wanted to use for these 20 days and for these videos. But um, I really did enjoy looking at them. She's got some awesome ones. I've kind of got a list going of other ones that I'm interested in for other projects. So um, now would be a great time to stock up. Uh, they do work for both Silhouette and Cricut. And if you're not already part of her Facebook group, she has a Facebook group as well called Confessions of a Paper Addict. And so you can go and check that out as well. So I am making my own thickers by using a piece of that leftover paper that I used to back the turtle. And I am putting it onto some foam, fun foam from Walmart. And uh, I am just running it through my sidekick with some Tim Holtz dies, alpha dies. And then once they cut out, I've got my own homemade thickers that match exactly. And I really like uh, doing this. It takes a little bit more time, but I also am not having to kind of figure out how to make A's and E's out of other letters when I run out. So I still use my thickers that I have had for a long time, and I have a huge stash of those, so I use them when I have ones that would work for that project, but in this case, um, it was definitely not something that was going to work because I don't have anything that has as many A's or E's as I needed. Well, I guess I didn't need a lot of E's, but I needed a lot of A's, and <laughs> I didn't have anything that had that many A's. Um, I am using two different fonts there. I will put the names of those down below as well in case there you are interested in purchasing the dies. The tall one is definitely a Tim Holtz die. The bottom one, um, I believe, um, I think it is from scrapbook.com, but I could be wrong on that. So I will put the, um, it's either scrapbook.com or actually I take that back. I believe it is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. 
And so I'll put the link down below for those. So it'll be easy for you to find if that's something that you are interested in. I am also going to be using um, the stamp set that is off to the right hand side and I am going to use the circle one and that is from Elizabeth Craft Designs also and that's called Retro Labels. It is one of my most used stamp sets right now. And then I had this embellishment or sticker, sticker book from Heidi Swap and I decided I liked the saying that was on this one and I'm going to go ahead and cut it out line by line because I didn't feel like it uh, needed the whole sticker on it because it's quite large and it basically says find time for the things that make you happy to be alive and I thought that was great because um, you know when you're on a vacation and you're off sightseeing you've got to stop and do all the things right um, we did an entire drive all the way around the large the big island of Hawaii and took in as many sites as we could and um, these turtles were amazing so we were definitely looking to see them um, we didn't have as much time to do a lot of um, on land sightseeing because we did a lot of underwater sightseeing if you will um, my my daughter my niece my brother and I all got our, our advanced scuba cer certifications while we were there and so we spent quite a bit of time underwater rather than um, on the on the land so we kind of had to just take a day or two to kind of go do the uh, sightseeing um, on shore so uh, I did decide to ink up all of these um, embellishments with Victorian velvet distress ink because they just needed a little help popping off the page because they are so light in color and now I'm just doing a tiny bit of journaling here uh, about how we took the day to make a whirlwind trip around the island to see as much as we could see and then I'm going to finish it off by adding some enamel dots I get my enamel dots from Gina Marie designs and uh, you get that whole sheet for like I think it's 225 and I think that's a great deal um, and she has tons of color options so I highly recommend that I'll put the link down below for that as well hopefully I remember to put all these links down below um, if there is ever anything that you um, are curious about or want to know you can just leave me a message down below in the comments and I will get back to you as quickly as I can I do read all my messages and I do um, enjoy reading them and I do respond to all of them it just may not be the same day or even like within a couple of days so might take me a few days to get back to you so there's my completed layout I hope that you like it and if you again have questions or comments leave them down below if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it and um, if you are not already subscribed I would love for you to subscribe to my channel as well and come back and see what else I've got for you I will be back again tomorrow with another cut file layout and I will see you then thanks so much for watching take care and have a great day Bye-bye.